Hi everyone, welcome back to the edit room. Today we're going to look at creating an on-screen control using Motion for Final Cut Pro 10. This is what we're creating essentially. I have the title here in my timeline and this is the on-screen control here that allows me to move my graphic around and I have it also linked to scale it. And you can notice that the circle and the text also scale together. So let me show you how I created this using motion. Let's switch over to motion. And you could use a motion project or a generator or what have you, but I'm going to use a title. And I'll change this to the parameters of my project that I'm working on here. And click open. So the first thing I'm going to do is I don't need this title background. I'm just going to delete it. And I have a group here with my text in it. And I'm just going to delete that for right now just to move it out of the way. I'll, I'll create some text here in just a second. So in this group, I'm going to create a circle. And just click and drag. And by the way, if you want it to be a perfect circle, while you're dragging, hold down Shift and Option, and it will scale perfectly for you. Now, I still have the circle tool selected, so if I went to click and drag this to try to move it in the center, it would just create another circle. And I don't want to do that, so I'm going to undo. The trick is to just hit Escape, and then you'll be able to move it. And I'll just center it up, just for the fun of it for right now. And I don't want the white fill, so I'm going to go to the inspector here, and I'm going to change it to outline and uncheck fill. And I'll just make it red so we can see it a little easier here. And maybe scale it up just a little bit. Whatever. Doesn't really matter at this point. So now I'm going to create my text. So I'll hit the T for text. And I'll just click right here and type in my text. And then again, I just hit escape and I can drag and center it up. And I kind of like it right there. Okay, everything's looking good. I have this group. Now I'm going to create another group above this group. So I'll click the plus sign. And I'll call this group OSC for on screen control. Now it's important that this group has a fixed resolution. So I'm going to check that. So back in the library, if I go to these filters here, there's tons and tons of filters. And one filter that you could use, I believe, is called Disk Warp. And I'm just going to drag this filter onto the group here. OK, now I want this group. And we'll just name this group, I don't know, Graphics for now. It doesn't really matter. Um, I want the on-screen control. See, so when I click on this, you can see the on-screen control right here. So I want the on-screen control to link to my X and Y axis of my graphics group here. So I'm going to have the graphics group selected, and that means everything inside of this group will be affected. And I'll go to the inspector. And in the properties, I'm going to twirl down the position, and I'm going to link to the X position. So I'll right-click and add a parameter behavior of link. And I like to rename link right away, just so that I can remember what I'm working on in case I get distracted or something. So I'm going to link X to this group. Now you would think it would be the, uh, here, let me select link. And here's another little trick. You can click this little padlock here to lock this screen here for the uh, link position. So if I have this selected, this stays put. So you would think that I could just drag the filter and drop it into here, but nope. Apple wants you to use the group. So if I drag the group into it, it gives me that little hooky arrow, and I can let go, and now it's linking to the properties of the group. But I don't want that. I want to change my compatible parameters to the filters inside that group and the disk warp filter is what I'm linking to, center X. Okay, so now I have my link linked to 
the filter in this group on X. Now I'm going to go back to the graphics pane and let me undo the padlock here for a second and I'll go to the properties and I'm going to link Y. So I'll right click, add parameter behavior and link. Rename link to link Y. And same thing, grab the group, drop it in, change this to filters, disk warp, center this time on Y. And you can notice that it's completely offset over here. So if we come here to the X offset and type in here negative 0.5, and then the same thing for link X, negative 0.5, puts it right back to where I had it. Now if I select the disk warp filter, you can see the on-screen control there in the center and I can move it around and it's linking perfectly. So now I'll save it and I'll call this, um, I don't know, disk warp for lack of creativity. You can name it whatever you want to name it. And I'll just put in my testing group here. I don't need to save a movie preview and I'll hit publish. Now we'll switch back to Final Cut and I'll go to my titles under testing. There's my disk warp and I'll drag that in. And here it is. Now notice you don't see the on-screen control here. I have to select it and oh, you still don't see the on-screen control. So I forgot to do one more thing in motion. So let me delete this. I'll switch back to motion and the thing I forgot to do is publish the on-screen control. So I'll just check that box. Making sure your on-screen control is selected here. Then you'll see that. So I'll save that. It overwrites in Funnel Cut so I can just drag this in again and it is still not there. So why is it not there? Let's find out. Notice how this is kind of grayed out and my playhead is at the beginning here. Well, it's grayed out because the length of it is not set to be the duration of my timeline. So I'll just simply hit O and see so it extended it out to that point. I can go to the end of it and hit O to make it longer. I just want to point that out. Now I'll save it and go back to Final Cut, delete the one that you added, I'll just drag and drop this in again and now we can see the on-screen control here. And notice I still can't move it. It's because Final Cut favors the text that's there. So what I need to do is put the on-screen control over to the side of it. So once again back to motion. Let me delete that. Go back to motion and I'll select the group. The easiest way to do it is to just select the group and then move the group itself over. And you can put it wherever you want. It doesn't really matter where you put the on-screen control. So I'll put it over there, hit save, go back to Funnel Cut, let it update, drag it in, and there's my on-screen on control, and I can drag it around. Now the radius of it is not linked to the scale of it yet, so I want to show that to you now. So let me delete this, go back to Motion, so I'm going to go back to the graphics group again here and I'm going to go to the properties and this time I want to link to the scale and I'll choose my X, right click and choose, oh before I do this I want to make sure that the disk warp has a radius of 150. I'm going to change that radius to 100 as well just so that we're all starting out at 100. So back on the graphics group, I'll go to the scale X, right click, and choose link, and I'm going to name this scale X, and then I'm going to drag in the group again just like before, and this time I'm going to go to the filters, disk warp, but instead of the center I'm going to choose the radius. And notice that this got all kind of funky. So no worries, I'm going to go back to the group and this time I'm going to scale Y. 
make sure that Y is selected before you do this and add parameter link. I'll rename it, scale Y, drag the group in, and attach that to the radius. Now notice it's really kind of small. That's okay, that's what we want. So I'm gonna save that, go back to Final Cut, and drag this in. And now I have an on-screen control that I can move around, and I'm able to scale it to the size that I want. I hope this helps you, and I can't wait to see what you create with these on-screen controls. If you haven't subscribed to the edit room, please do. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time in the edit room.